first disclaimer. Don't you even care about my pee-pee? Well, good evening, ladies, lasses, and lasses, and welcome to the click. I hope you're doing dandy fine delicious today because you look dandy fine delicious. I, sorry for any background noise. My dishwasher is running. You know what they say? When you get rich, you can flex and just toss your plates out the window and get new ones. Uh, I am currently washing my paper plates. Anyway, welcome to r slash men writing women, which is a subreddit I usually sit and scroll through and crack up, and we can go on small rants about the entertainment industry, which is a absolute disaster, so I do hope you enjoy this as much as I enjoy making it. And the uh, Crab Crab channel and all that stuff, woo! People who complain about lizard folk boobs aren't mad that you got the biology wrong. They're tired of women in fantasy being reduced to walking tatas, and attacking mammaries into reptiles is the most ridiculous example. That always struck me as kind of weird. I, I think the least thing you would be upset about in fantasy... There are lizard folk? But uh, but my biology! <laughs> oh, this is a good one. Naked woman plus right hand equals happy, happy, joy, joy. Yup, that's right. I admit I masturbate. I am proud of it. I am good at it. I don't think I've met anyone who's ever said they're bad at- Okay, never mind, never mind. I am ambidextrous. If there was a professional masturbations league, I would be drafted number one and make millions of dollars. And maybe you're thinking, What? <laughs> what kind of- Who wrote this? It's only you! It's- <laughs> Pussy Galore, fictional character. Pussy Galore is a fictional character in the 1959 Ian Fleming's James Bond novel Goldfinger and the 1964 film the same title. In the film, she is played by Honor Blackman. Well, that is uh, that is a beautiful name. All right, here it is. Fade in, extra dusty desert road day. We come to Morgan, a tall woman in her early 30s, slim build, blonde hair, and fully aware of her sexuality. She's wearing blue jeans, cut off shorts, and a bottom down, slightly dingy white shirt that's tied in a knot at her breasts. She is standing in front of a tan Mazda with its hood up and steaming fill the air around it. In the distance behind her we see through the heat blur a van heading our way. Okay, your turn. Let's make this fun. Hide your part. Michael walks like he knows he has a hog <laughs> the size of an anaconda. Struts by not what up? <laughs> This just sounds like the beginning of an adult film. Michael walks in with his pants that have been sewn to have a third leg to make space for his third leg. He was feeling insecure today. His sack shriveled at the thought of the of the of the of the of the of the, of the, of the eyes in the room locking on him. A live character design for games, animation, and film. That's a very severe lack of clothing. How do you make your characters look alive? Make sure to show skin. Skin equals. Alive. If female characters wrote characters of the opposite sex like male writers do, he walked downstairs, noticing how his limp pee-pee pressed against the front of his underwear, his numb- Nubile? His nubile balls dangling hairily below. Dying right now. He stopped in front of the mirror and sighed. His peepee -pee was just a little too large to be fashionable, and his balls were just a little lopsided. Most days it don't bother him, but today he pushed at his genitals, trying to make them look more normal, like the men in the magazines. It was hopeless. He dropped his junk in resigned frustration. There were worse things than having too large of a peepee, -pee, he thought. I always found that so weird with characters. How many people actually fantasize about their own looks or features? <laughs> it's so weird. It's <laughs> this is kind of like if you wrote a character in that sense, like, if you could swap bodies for a day, what would you do? It's kind of like that weird thought pattern, but with an actual human, and it's strange. Why was every book I read about Eleanor Roosevelt as a child, like, despite being very ugly? I think when it comes to looks in, in fictional characters, I mean, I, I can find myself appreciate attractive characters, whether they're male or women, oftentimes just because it portrays kind of a unrealistic individual, like a, like a superhero or something. But I think when looks go too far, when they become the only marketable feature of said character. I think the best way to actually determine that is imagine if you were not attracted to this character. Let's say this character is a female and you are not attracted to females. Would this character still be interesting to you? Would you still find them enticing in any way? Their character, their attitude, their story, you know, their charisma, anything like that. If the answer is no, it's probably just fan service. If the answer is yes, then it is actually a character with proper depth that just happens to be attracted. I think that's a pretty good way of, of separating it, because I don't think attractive characters is inherently bad in its own, but if that's the only trait... 
A bit of the fan service. I just want to let you know that your post made me laugh so hard that my bra strap broke and my girls, if you know what I'm referring to, knocked over my water and my cat was looking at me like, oh, anyways, thanks. <laughs> my boyfriend liked the show at least, no creepy replies because I have a BF. Edit, I come back from the alternate seat down votes are sexists. Uh, I don't think this was written by a girl, and if it was, what? Let me just make this incredibly explicit statement. No explicit replies, please. No explicit place! <laughs> Patty Stevens was every musical casting director's wet dream. She had long, flowing blonde hair, a big doe eyes that caught a light perfectly, and a voice bigger than her <laughs> and her <laughs> was pretty big. Uh, uh, right? She stood in the doorway, her enormous breast glistening enticingly, her nipples desperately trying to escape the skin-tight latex bra that she just happened to be wearing at 4 p.m. on a Sunday evening. The little nubs that adorned her big old job lease. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to stay in character. Okay, wait. Emitted a low-pitched growl. Do you mean the do you mean the boo-boos? Rar! <laughs> a siren call that made my 18-inch peepee -pee immediately stand to attention. I wandered over to her, my big old ween casting an impressive shadow on the floor. I let out a primal yell. Rar! Immediately entered her, causing her to I'm not gonna finish reading this. This is Oh my god. She gazed at me with pure lust in her nips. How do you do that? These writers make me believe that nips work like dog's tail. Like, they were wagging happily. Lando took another sip and leaned back in his chair with a sigh and a soft smile. He had draped his slick burgundy cape over the back of his chair. Mara Jade wore a tight-fitting jumpsuit. Her curves looked like Hasseter's path through a complicated planetary system. Ashley Mattingly has died. 54 photos. Uh, former Playboy playmate Ashley Mattingly, dead at 33. The busty blonde took her- oh my, that's so tragic. Check out her photo collection. Are you let her be a person and let them pass in peace. What is this? This is the reason why aliens haven't visited. No, correction. This is the reason why aliens will end up nuking us. Stop this. What the hell? This is like clickbaiting, but so morally abhorrent. God. Her breasting west is amazing, soft and comforting, like the bun that comes with a fillet of fish sandwich. <laughs> All rights reserved. Now two for five dollars at McDonald's. Yes! Hey, baby, how, how about we enter a contract of all rights reserved? Like, cause like exclusivity and really, that's kind of smooth. That's, I'm, I'm proud of myself. I, care, I don't care what you say. I'm proud of myself now. I have very low standards on myself. Iome mourned the death of these two friends deeply. It saddened her to think that these women were forever gone from the world. And she mourned their lovely booby woobies. Booby woobies that have vanished without a trace. What? This makes me believe that humans are some kind of biological being where the booby woobies are like the first things to form and the rest of the human is just filler around that nice thing. It's like thinking about your brain as yourself and your body is just a flesh suit that walks the brain around. It's the same thing, but the booby woobies is you. The booby woobies is your personality. All the four types of female lead in a romantic comedy. The chill girl eats pizza for every meal, but she is still the skinniest person you ever seen. She doesn't fart or shite. She's perfect. Massive tata! She knows a lot about sports. It's amazing. Has eight big brothers, so she knows how to wrestle. Is a pro at FIFA, but always lets you win. Moody smart bish. Has aspirations to be a lawyer or doctor and not a wife. Too many opinions. Shush. She suddenly become hot and popular, so you agree to date her. Can be found sitting under a tree reading a book and calling you an idiot even though she is secretly in love with you. Smart. Yuck. She's a feminist that isn't even embarrassed about it. Career boss bish says stuff like, where's my whole wheat bagel? Acts like she doesn't even care about your pee pee. Oh, how could she? <laughs> Sitting in the middle of a business meeting and, and some dude at the end of the table, like at the very back of the room, just don't you even care about my pee pee? Lighten up, honey. Confident and powerful. Say goodbye to your boner. A scary man scream when they see her. <laughs> Good morning, boys. <laughs> That's a great job, but is secretly so unhappy. All she wants is a man. A manic pixie dream girl. She can't tell the time. So cute. Works in a cafe or, or something. Always wants to roll down the hill exactly like a child, but... What? I hate politics. We should replace money with daisy chains. She... Oh, so, oh you only listen to Vital. Uh, I hate this. I hate this so much. Why, why does humanity exist? Do women hate women? A man says that they do, but three women say not. 
history in a nutshell. What do women think about women? We ask the men! Let's find out what it's like to be a parent. Here we ask this single dude who's never had kids. Uh, it's kind of good, yo. Diti was staring at the corpse and did not look happy. Her nips were down flat. All right, Diti backed off and her nips showed faintly. Not rigid, but she was feeling better. My darlings keep her feelings out of the face, mostly. But those pretty pink spigots are barometers of her morale. You know, you know whenever you watch a camera scene or a movie and the focus is just really off? This feels like one of those things where there's a whole scene going on. They're trying to solve a mystery, but the cameraman is just like focused on the bazongas like... Yeah, totally cool. You're kind of missing the point of the, of the whole story. This is just so weird. My female character is when I was 13. Me, a male writer. <laughs> when at last a yacht stops off Norfolk, Wonder Woman contacts her powerful facial muscles and opens her mouth, tearing the adhesive tape from her lips. This makes it easier to breathe. Now I can open my eyes, if I can. Wonder Woman's eyelid muscles loosen the tape, but also her eyelashes. Oh, oh my feminine vanity won't let me pull my eyelashes. I'll have to escape blindfolded. If, if you wanted to have scenes about her walking around and can't see, you can. it's a comic book. You could have done anything. Like, ooh, a wizard caught, cast a blindness spell, or, or you know, there's there's complete darkness uh, where, where she's heading, or anything like that. But, but no, she, she can't get rid of her... Her eyelashes. Great plot device. Oh, hello, boys. Mm. Well, you know what they say. The the average human intestines are like, uh, is it nine meters long or something like that? So they definitely fit. She looked young. Young enough to make a man feel guilty about thinking the wrong thoughts, but old enough to make it difficult. What? What the frick is a vulva? That's not a word or thing. Speak English. Is it a word you're looking for, VJJ? Because that's what women have. Men have peepees and testes. Women have VJJs. Thank you for the screenshot. I'm in the middle of a conversation where I am in need of examples of men who don't know about the female reproductive system. You are not my top example. Ah, <sighs> content. The girl was about 13, Ragnar saw. Her skin, when the dirt came off, was pale. Her hair on the head was between. Her legs was dark, almost black. She had slender arms and legs and perfect small... Don't, don't, don't describe... That kind of s it's oh my god, why? She's over six feet tall and carries every inch with pride. Instead of trying to sink when faced with insecure men in the office, she shows up in blood red shoes with heels as sharp as army knives and the height of Cuban cigars. She's a comic book artist's fantasy. No one dominates a room in the way she does. Or a party. I'll never forget the first time I saw Gronk spike a football. It changed my life forever. The unrivaled power of his touchdown dance, the Gronk. It jettisoned jiggling ribbons of electricity jelly through my body and melted my knees like two pads of margarine. Uh, tell me, uh, quick, uh, uh, uh. Men, women, and monkeys. Some women, Commander Norton had decided long ago, should not be allowed aboard a ship. Weightlessness did things to their booby boobies that were too distracting. But it was bad enough when they were motionless. But when they started to move and simple vibrations said anyone more than any... <laughs> this just makes me feel like the video games with the overly emphasized uh, bodily physics. <laughs> this is just that, but in the book. I got the results of the test back. I definitely have breast cancer. Any kind of uh, casual conversation between the ladies. Just like when I'm sitting and having my Friday beer with the bros and bonding over our testicles. All women want to be swept off their feet. In their dreams, they long to be slung over man's shoulder and taken into a cave and what? The bad R word. Thank you, camera. You are just as shooketh as I am. Oh, shit! It's a woman! Watch out, mister! It's a woman and she's trying to parallel park! Son of a- oh. <laughs> For real, though, parallel parking is the worst thing ever. I hate it. I wish they would invent cars that could just turn their wheels 90 degrees. Imagine that. If we can just drive like this. Oh, parallel parking! Zip! Zoink! If that was a contraceptive vaccine, but after taking it, you could still get Prago. And you still have to wear a condom. Would you still take it? It really is that stupid mind kablooshed. I mean, technically, that's what the depot shot is. Nothing is ever 100%, and you should still wear a condom, and the off chance it does fail. So that's kind of a dumb comparison. <sighs> You're a grown man, you should know better than this. A woman need love to have sex. Men need sex to have love. How do we do this? Instagram is the kind of deep equivalent to when you're walking down the road and you step into a muddy puddle that gets your entire leg just wet and dirty. Tempter, a murderer, manipulative, or that he was just pure evil and that's what scared me. A knock-on. My entire life I have been prepared for this day. Marriage to the devil's son and a baby-making machine. Dynamicwebnovel.com I still don't understand what the target audience- Chicago Tribune, wife of Bears lineman, wins a bronze medal. 
You spelled three-time Olympian Corey Cogdell Urine wins second bronze medal today in Rio Olympics wrong. I still remember the post when they said like uh, Michelle Obama's husband when Barack Obama was still president. It was it was so, it was so funny. I love that. <laughs> Healing was the strongest of magics, the most draining. The eighth bone crumbled away to dust in her hand, and she reached between her legs, probing. It had done its work. Her hymen was restored. If there is a chance I am to marry the deliverer, I should come to him a proper bride unknown to men. She reached for a silk robe she had cut into one long, continuous strip and fell into the familiar weave, retying her bidot. Okay. I need some prepare. Wet, succulent, uh, suck, blah, blah. Okay, that's very, very much. I shan't even patroont it. Just ponder at thy glory. Very beautiful. Yes, the nicest of guys. This is just what he had been afraid of. These blithering women who thought they could do a man's work. What the hell couldn't they stay at home and mind their pots and pans and stick their frocks and gossip and leave men's work to them? And now for this to happen to him, just when the job has come off so beautifully, for Vesper to follow an old trick like that and get herself snatched and probably held ransom like some bloody heroine to strip cartoon. The silly b d what? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Was this written like in the 1800s? I can't tell which they're whistling at, me or my new Chevrolet. Bless your heart, honey, they're whistling at both of you. All you ladies might as well be warned right now you're going to be the target for admiring eyes and perhaps a few whistles too in your slick new Chevrolet. You, you're really along for a ride. <laughs> the next time she decides to dredge up my unwashed linen in public, I'll counter by telling everyone in earshot about how she suffers from occasional vaginal discharge. That should do it. This just gives me like eight-year-old sibling vibes. Jesus. Oh, says I am very smart. Oh yes, how intimidating. <clears throat> Anyway, you also seem like an easygoing person, which I really adore. So much for the self-deprecating humor already. Ha <laughs> ha. Am I being intimidating? I tend to write high-level English already up front. But don't worry, you can rest assured that I don't intess in to overwhelm. In fact, I was trying to impress you. You brag about using big English words, but you can't even space your words properly. And you use the word ooh instead of you. And you also use intense instead of intense. Okay, anyway. Okay, I'm gonna give him a chance. You also have a wide pelvis bone, which make you look fertile and procreation ready. Thus more feminine and attractive. Say, a woman that deserves to grow my seeds. The real question now, will you nurse my seed and grow them? <clears throat> this sounds like you're talking about, like, botany. I'm going to write about pee, -pee and balls the way male writers write about the tatas. His nuts, once so full and heaving in the summer of his youth, now clung to his pelvis as a reminder of the cold and his powerlessness. Very relatable. Every time I leave the house and I'm like, ugh, social responsibilities, my balls were dangling saddened. Five stars, that was so cute of my tiny wife's head. I'll attach a picture later, but just try to envision my tiny, cute Filipina wife, uh, four, nine, and 90 little pounds of very long Asian black hair, wearing this to the school volleyball games. Cutest girl in the whole gym for sure, and she's 30 years old. It's a big and little head and that makes it all cute, and I love my wife, I'm a lucky guy. She enjoys it. That's her trouble. Women only get prego when they enjoy it, do they? Everyone knows that. I don't know. You don't know anything about that sort of thing, do you? You're a monk. <laughs> I was just about to say, this sounds like the kind of thing where you have like a bunch of, uh, of like mid-schoolers like, Did you know that girls have cooties? It's that kind of conversation, but, but with actual adults, which is fascinating. She was a little thing, her fair hair plaited and wrapped around her head, on which she wore a small black cap with a long trail of black ribbon hanging past her plump rump. <laughs> Why did that take me so off guard? It was a perfectly normal, a little bit cheesy, like, it's just like, plump rump. <laughs> Hey, how was school today? A kid in art class told me the Tata thought my lesser woman didn't make sense. Uh, what did you do? I just threw them bigger and said, It's fiction, I draw what I want, you plebeian. Atta boy! And the lizard boy with an extra large tail, if you know what I mean. Yes, indeed. Drawing a man is very different from drawing a woman. With males, you can be looser and less precise in their descriptions. Small imperfections can often add character. Your drawing of a woman, however, must be perfect. A single, ill-placed line can dramatically age her or make her seem annoying or ugly. Then no one buys your comic. Close on, the girl. To say she is beautiful is almost to miss the point. She is elemental, as natural and wild as the luminous flora surrounding. Her dark hair waterfalls to her shoulders in soft arcs and curls. Her body, it's curved. Valacious? But though as a drawn bow, she wears a burnished metal bracelets on both wrists, wide and in, in integrally? Integri detailed. Her shift is of another era. We'll call it ancient Greek. She is barefoot! 
After that description, just imagine them feeties. Her eyes were teary. She couldn't take any more of his torture and embarrassment. She wanted to beg him to stop, but her own voice wasn't under her control anymore. Instead, she felt fire raging from her bottom to her stomach. They thought the prince is gay. Shockingly, she can't get off his bed till three days later. There's also that kind of thing. Target audience question mark? A beautiful female corpse. Ah! Oh, God! A beautiful corpse that tantalizes Stephen to submitting himself to his <laughs> a thorough and enticing. No dialogue, but strong acting skills are required. Full nudity is required, and there's simulated naughty scenes. Paid! This role requires full, okay, lifeless young woman, both thin and pale, who is presumed to be very f bad stuff and dead, is found washed up in shallow waters by a group of men doing their fishing trip. The story is centered around this female, slender, beautiful, and dead. She is drop-dead gorgeous! Actress will lie on an examination table and be the best dead person she can be, need to be the Meryl Streep of stunt corpses. No nudity, but will be draped in kelp, covered in sand, and festooned by the occasional crab. Not alive. Beautiful! Beautiful victim, you will play as a beautiful dead girl, the victim of a serial killer. You will be in the surreal scene of the artist in a moonlit bedroom. You will be made to look dead, as if in mortician's mortician slab. There will be implied nudity. Only implied. I love the range of acting roles available to women. <laughs> It is a killer industry. Pfft, sorry. Well, that is absolutely astonishingly beautiful. Thank you so much for watching this train wreck of a video. I do hope that you enjoyed it and had a couple of laughs at these atrocious examples of uh, of, of of creation. <laughs> and if you did, and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care. Mwah.